Tell us in the comment. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Uh, Jay, uh, could you tell me something about uh, the band name, Becoming Tatiana? Uh, what's the story behind that? Okay, Becoming Tatiana. So I just came from a band, you know, my other band, say a group metal band. So, separate, medyo masculine, may, medyo angry yung tutugan. So, when I started this project, uh, I wanted to flip the coin, nga nga. I wanted the other side of me. So, I said, you know, I, parang I was tapping to my uh, other side. So, that is why becoming Tatiana. So, parang tinatap ko yung feminine side ko. Not in a gay way or LGBTQ way, but, you know, parang, di ba lahat naman tayo, oh, mga lalaki. We have this uh, feminine side and yung mga babae naman, meron din masculine side. So, basically, yeah. pinatap ko yung feminine side ko yung... para, para yung, yung creativity ko hindi masyadong... The question is, Jay, with this first song, Adrift, why Adrift? Why is this song? What's the story? Uh, adrift, is, diba? adrift is you're floating in water, diba? So at the time na ginagawa ko yung song, I was adrift in a sea of ideas. So I have nothing uh, in concrete at the time. So going with the flow lang ako. Yeah. So yun yung kinalabasan niya. Kaya adrift yung tinaital ko. Bakit, bakit dalawa lang kayo? Why, why is it there's only two members in your band? Yeah, actually nga, yun nga. We, we, uh, we started out, it started out as a solo project of mine. So I was doing all the drum programming. The, the bass and some of the guitars but I, I, I'm not that good of a uh, guitar player doon ko tinap si Poy sabi ko, hey Poy, uh, rest bakan mo naman ako para baka gusto mong tulungan dito sa project ko kasi I really need a guitar player so yun, then as we were going along na with the songs sabi ko, uh, yun nga, paano namin gagawin to ng live eh, parang wala, parang okay na kami na kami dalawa sa ngayon eh uh, creative, creatively, parang mas lock-in kami ni Poy. Parang ano, uh, steely dance. Parang, di ba, dalawa lang sila eh. Hmm. Yes, uh, meron bang disadvantage yun? Or meron bang advantage? Kasi hindi ko alam eh. Uh, some of the band uh, bands have uh, more members, more, more than yes. four, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, minsan, nag-work sa kanila. No? There are also bands na dalawa lang talaga sila. Like, uh, Ano yun? 20, 21 pilots, di ba? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, when they go to concerts, dalawa lang talaga sila. Churches, uh, they only have three. Tapos yung iba, yun, they, they work around with uh, drum pads, drum machines, or recorded drum solo. So, um, in, in in your perspective, uh, yung may advantage ba? Sinadyaan nyo ba talaga na dalawa lang kayo? Or, uh, kung baga, naghahanap ba kayo ng ibang band members? Uh, at- so at first, it was really a struggle. Kasi sanay ako sa setup na yung alam mo yun, may drummer ka, may guitarista ka, may vocalist ka na. Meron kayong uh, pukulan ng ideas eh, di ba? Tapos bilang eto, eto mag-isa ako. Parang ganun. So when I was starting this, parang tinatandaan ko, oh, paano nga ba pumalo yung drummer ko si Kid? Paano, paano ba magigitara yung guitarist ko na ganito? Ganyan, ganyan. Pero it was really a struggle. But then, when nung nakakagawa na ako ng songs, it became uh, mas efficient sa akin. Kasi on the, on the spot, pag may sinimulan akong drum beat, pat, 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 ayan na, nandiyan na. Mm-hmm. So, kaya ko. At saka, recording-wise, uh, mas okay siya, recording-wise. Kasi, hindi, hindi ko na, ay, wala akong capability mag-record ng live drums. So, live guitars, kaya kong i-record now. Pero, as of now, hindi ko kaya mag-record ng live drums. So, doon palang may problem na ako. So with this, using uh, uh, programs or plugins, medyo nakakausad ako ng konti. So, yeah. So actually, you know, when I was when I was uh, listening to yung ano, yung uh, second song mo, no, Jay, yeah. yung Regrets. Bigla ko nagkaroon ng flashback eh, yung early 80s, yung unang unforgettable uh, jazz instrumental music that I've heard was ano it fe- uh, feel so good by Chuck mm-hmm. Mangione mm-hmm. mm-hmm. bigla yes. ko lang karon flashback wow yun yung first introduction ko to jazz instrumental no thank you and thank it you. has a little bit of that yung music mo and it's ano quite you know refreshing to to remember something like that 
Thank you, thank you. Oh, actually, pro- and yeah, we'll, when we are uh, looking our ano no band, because of course we are into this program. Uh, people don't. Um, of course, people would always think na okay, malamit tayo mga bandang iniimbita, and we have a band lineup na po. Uh, actually, for the end of up to the end of June, mayroon na kami mga band list of of artists that are going to be on our program for the entire month of June. And this band becoming Tatiana by Jay Abueg and Popoy is one of the very few that is really concentrated on this particular kind of music instrumental uh, medyo may pagka rarity po siya so i you know we kind of appreciate na para namang maiba from the mainstream or even the mainstream so to speak ng alternative music scene yung becoming tachana is one of the unique ones focus nung ano actually yun yung ano ko yun din yung isang focus ko kaya nagdecide daw maging instrumental gusto kong ilagay yung focus sa rhythm section kasi pag may vocalist ka may lyrics yung tendency mo do sa song doon pa na-attach doon sa sa lyrics or do sa vocalist. So as most of the time na neglect yung rhythm section. So ako parang gusto kong ilagay sa unahan yung rhythm section naman na parang oh ganito ganito yung tunog ng rhythm section. Parang, we can we, the rhythm section can also tell a story ka. Nga. So the purge bakit uh, tell me something about uh, the title. Bakit it's my, it's my uh, it's my pandemic song. <laughs> Purge related pa sa dun sa Purge na uh, movie ba to or TV series? Hindi naman. Uh, nasulat ko lang siya nito dahil sa ECQ, MCQ, Panay Q. So, yun nga, di ba? Mapapansin mo, ang daming delays, medyo mabulo kasi nga yung surroundings natin ngayon mabulo. Parang ganun. So, I wanted na parang yun yung parang feelings ko. Ang gulo, ang gulo, ang gulo. Pero gusto ko i, i- ano, sa bandang dulo na magiging okay lang din tayo. Para magiging okay lang yan. So, kaya biglang yung shift sa dulo. Kahit na meron distorted sound, meron parang meron clean sound na nagahatid dun sa parang soft side ng song. Parang. Since na uh, tayo yung musicians na medyo nasa elder uh, side, no? uh, what can you advise? Or what, what can you say to the younger bands uh, that are still thinking of uh, forming an, uh, their own band uh, ano yung pwede mong ma-share sa kanila na they, they might be that might be helpful dun sa journey nila towards music uh, forming a band or creating their music ano pwede mong uh, don't, don't be afraid man you know don't be afraid be creative and uh, yun nga don't be huwag kang maano sa boundaries na kanyari ano ba yung mainstream ngayon uh, don't think don't think, feel, feel it, feel, feel mo. You, you make your instrument like an extension of your body, like, uh, parang sa painting, yung instrument mo blank canvas, so parang white canvas. Haya mo lang, haya mo lang magstroke yung kamay mo, haya mo lang. Kano yung feel mo? Pero para sa akin, eh, that, that's why I don't do cover songs. Kasi pagkawa ka ng cover, pagcover ka ng cover, parang yun 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 nak yun yun nagagawa mo. Eh. So ako talaga kung blank slate ako by feel lang talaga yung ano. So, yun yung masasuggest ko dun sa mga up and coming bands or yung sa gusto mag-band. Uh, don't be afraid and just, ano, don't think. Feel it. Kung yung feelings mo, ilabas mo. You know, just stay creative. Be creative. Don't be afraid. You know. Use your, ano, use your feelings. Use your heart, not your mind. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.